going to show how data solve all forensic problems. Their first one is HTTPS decryption. There was attachment. Another one is master keys, log file, and uh, another is pick file. So you can see there. One is captured packets dot pkpng and another is master keys dot log. Okay. Open it by Wireshark, and there you can reference uh, or you can short the all protocol files there. So we can see there TLS file, TLS protocol file there. So if we check this, uh, there is nothing. Okay. Check by TCP stream, but this message was encoded. So we have to decrypt this TLS file by this master keys lock. So we have to change the preference. Sorry, there's protocols, and we can see there a TLS. And their master secret key finally okay so we can select this and then okay now all tls file if we sort it again we can see there all tls file has been decrypted if we check again follow tls system by next next okay so now if we check there Okay, now if we check now follow by TLS stream. Okay, we can see there this is our flag. Okay. Now second one this is network punk and there is also an attachment. If we check there and we open by Wireshark. Now TCP there there for sure here is the flag okay and if we copy this text and just there Check now. There is a CTF. It is UCTF and URM14 underscore network. And then call bracket. So this was the flag. Check the third one. That is hidden strings. There is an attachment. I download this file. The stream hyphen CTF dot BSD file. So if we want, we can add this virtual disk we can add there right button that is bhd but now we can add, we add this i i added this file there is another disk okay now check there black file this is ascii text everything there password atosha there is nothing so i I tried by volatility. So there basically uh, I have used volatility version 2 and there is MMP parser. I have opened this VSD file. Okay, there is the password file uh, password Atosha. There is our file and we see there is another zip file but we can't extract this because there is only one file we see there there is nothing except flag file okay if we uh, generate this file we can get there is uctf flag.txt file we uh, extract this exa data from there okay we can open this by notepad++ and 
pressing by alter control we can remove other part and then we can select we can minus all lines in a single row now we can copy this to a new file Okay, now copy this. Okay. Now this is okay. We can save this. Yes. I will pitch it this file. Gbot data. Okay, it's in there. This is here flat text. Okay, now new G file. Let's step here. Password is Tosha. There is the text file we have extracted, and this is the flag. Okay, so basically, what we learned here in VHD, we see there is one file, but after extracting, we have got a password, but nothing is useful. Then for memory check, we use volatility 2 and there is mft parser command uh, mft parser plugins for uh, checking what is in there and we have found uh, this is the text file and there is another zip file and use this hexacode we have created this zip file and unzip by this password Atosha. so this was third one and Finally, last one is deleted masses. There is an attachment, and if we see there, cyber police have seized a computer containing illegal content, but the data is stored is secured with the password. Okay, and you are given a dump of the data partition of the form. Okay, and running in Android six point zero. Now, if we check this deleted masses, extract there. Okay, extract here. So the data there is many files but uh, and the structure shows uh, this file total file directory structure was uh, from extracted from mobile phone that is android 6.0 version when we check first we have to check the security file uh, and there first we have to check system file and if we see there there is two database uh, log settings and db and notification log so sms for sms notification log may be stored there you can check no local text data is nothing okay there is the log file and we can see sms there and there is the path com android messaging com android messaging okay this was in data and com android messaging this and there is database bungle db and it can be opened by sqlite also as like previous so we can open this by this can open from here There is data, pointed messaging, database, log files, there is Google DB. Okay, now we have got same DB. What's in there? Android metadata, data, nothing. Okay, there is participants, data, number, UCTF, and there is nothing. And in parts table, we can see there is a text, UCTF, and there is our flag. So, for Challenges in forensics all was cracked. Okay, thank you.